Hi everyone. We believe you must be very eager to try the step wing now. Experience a brand new control, like riding on the moon. Before riding, there are several things you need to know about the step wing. The step wing is very different from traditional bicycles. It's an entirely new way of riding. So next, we are going to teach you how to ride the step wing in the right way. Let your body get used to a brand new riding experience. These are very important skills to use when riding the step wing. Please make sure you follow our video step by step. Please park your step wing properly. Remove the big springs on both sides of the step wing. By doing this, we release the pedals and stop them from bouncing back. So now, we need you to switch the speed variator on the handle to position two. First of all, we are training you to stand and keep your balance on the step wing. Please put one of your feet on the pedal. Use the other foot to push off the ground and glide forward slowly, like the way we ride a scooter. First, try to ride in a straight line. Make sure you can keep your balance. Then you can try to glide forward and turn around. Every time we move, we hang our foot that pushes off the ground outside the edge of the pedal in order that we can get used to standing on the step wing before riding. Press the brake when parking. Move your foot hanging outside the pedal farther out. Make sure your center of gravity is transferred when the vehicle comes to a full stop. So now you can lift your other foot off the pedal slowly and complete the stop action. When you are familiar with these techniques, we can go on to the next stage. Put one of the big springs back into its original position on the side we were just using to push off with our foot. Begin your forward movement, starting with one foot standing on the pedal and slowly move forward by the other foot pushing off the ground. Move your pushing foot back on the pedal and gently push the pedal downwards to one half of its drive force. Let the pedal move back to its top position again. Repeat the move. At this stage, when we lift our legs to keep balance, try to ride straight and turn around. Then we come to a full stop again. Then repeat all the practice steps again. When you push the pedal down to the bottom, you will feel the step wing speed up a lot. At this time, we can control our speed with how strongly we push the pedal and by adjusting the height of both pedals. Practice again. Then we park our step wing. Finally, we put the other big spring back into its original position on the step wing. Practice the same techniques once more. Push one pedal to the bottom. Using the other foot to pedal the step wing, gently push the pedal down to one half of the drive force. Let the pedal move back to its top position again. When your body gets used to balancing when you lift your leg, you can push the pedal to the bottom. We can control our speed with how strongly we push the pedal and by adjusting the height of both pedals. When you master these skills, it means you can ride the step wing freely. So next, depending on the speed you need or the traffic conditions, you can control your speed by turning the speed variator to adjust the speed ratio. We prefer position two for riding on urban roads. We recommend you to choose position one to accelerate when you want to speed up. If you need to climb, please choose position three. I think you can't wait to try out the step wing now. Please join us to enjoy chasing the wind together.